Um, I don't know. Might be nice to have. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's crooked. Up in it? Or straight? Huh? Because it looks straight to me. It's a little blurry. I think it was. Hey, what's up, Amanda? Hey, so guys. Good. I don't know what kind of reception we get right now. Better be getting some good reception, man. How's it going? What's up, y'all? Right. Billy said, how are you, bro? What's up, Billy? Videos. Man, I ain't been live in a long, long minute, y'all. Yeah, no, it's been a long. I gotta stop at the post office real quick. I gotta go get some coffee, first thing first. And then, uh, go get some envelopes, y'all, because I ran out of envelopes to mail them cookbooks out. Lord. Hey, Emmett. Nice to tang. I don't think I realize how bumpy the roads are until I'm alive, you know what I'm saying? I see the camera moving around. I never have. Oh, what's up, Jake Z from State Farm? So, what's up, Jake? Ooh, surf and turf. Yeah, that's good stuff. What's up, NYB? Just hanging out. What's up with everybody, though, man? We just running some errands, y'all. Like I said, I need to. I got the cookbooks ready, and I ain't got no damn more envelopes. I ran out of them. They go so fast, you know? They really do. Yeah, man. So, I need to go down and get some more. Sarah said she needs coffee first. What's up, KK from Texas? Yeah, I know. I ran out of coffee. We ran out of everything. We really didn't get to do like a shopping trip. Yeah, we ran out of everything all in one day. Coffee and no envelopes on a rainy day. Yeah. We love you guys too. What's up, What's up Atlanta? Hi, Miss Callie. Blessings to you as well. How was y'all's Wednesday? God, please. We're moving right through. Man, we almost a Friday, y'all. What's really going on, man? I tell y'all, I swear to tell you these days, y'all. They just going too fast for me, man. They really My are. birthday this weekend. Birthday this weekend. My birthday this weekend, y'all. Well, not his actual birthday. You're not, actually, it's seven days from today for your real birthday. Next Wednesday. Yeah, <laughs> What's getting, up, North Carolina? Drive old, faster. Bro. I want my cookbook, he said. <laughs> I'm coming, bro. I'm coming. Chicago. I got to go get some more envelopes like this one, y'all. Oh, uh, taking care of the baby. Have you guys came on? I'm getting bored. I feel you. Been so busy lately. Um, thank you, Jake. Pota Cajun potato soup made me look like a hero. Oh, Sam. That is, Ralph wanted to make that today. Happy what? birthday, they said. Thank you. He said, Thank um, or Sam, I don't know if it's he or she, said, hey, guys, love your Cajun potato soup. Made me look uh -huh. like a hero. That's awesome. I was trying to make that today, man. I Sarah shot me that. down. I just said that. Well, because you did it for a video already. Today, y'all, I got to do two videos coming up. So I'm doing two. Got to get these packages out. I got to do that. So I don't start getting cursed out. Y'all remember whenever I was back, like, one time I got backed up on them packages. Boy, I got cursed out for real. <laughs> I went on the most hated out. list real quick. Yeah. So I'm trying to not do that again. Right. So that's why I said I got to go out in this rain and go get these envelopes. Because otherwise I got, you know, it could be another day. You know what I'm saying? They all saying happy birthday. The Thank weather is gloomy and rainy yeah it's raggedy and it's like 64 we're supposed to be having an arctic blast or arctic something coming through tomorrow so it's gonna be cold bro our arctic blast are like it'll be 45 degrees that's arctic blast down now that's cold what you mean i mean it's cold everybody else gets an arctic blast they got snow blizzards ice on the roads now nah, we just wet and cold yeah that's about it man <laughs> they said you're going on a road trip nah, this weekend just Oh, I ain't going on a road trip. Y'all, where the hell am I going to? Got nowhere to go. This weekend, his cousin is actually going to host some, like, a little get-together. A few people hang out. We're going to do the fire pit outside and play some games or maybe something like... Drink some drink beverages. Drink some beverages. It, it ought to be a good time. It ought to be a real good time. You said the most hated list. <laughs> yeah, I get on that thing quick, boy, I tell you. Oh, 
yeah. Like, you know what? You ain't get my cookbook to me in nine days, bro. The hell with you and your channel. I'm like, damn, bro, <laughs> calm down. I'm coming, I promise. Oh, um, we are a one and a half man operation, not a two man, because sometimes I ain't all the way to y'all. Like, it's like, you know what? I liked your videos, but you want to wait? And you didn't ship my cookbook out for four days? Screw you. I was like, damn, bro, we getting violent. You want to go get coffee here? Yeah. Jefferson Highway's best McDonald's coffee. They Sarah's always got, do me right. Sarah says that Jefferson Highway got the best iced coffees, y'all, so we're going to find out. Why would they go to Dunkin' Donuts and get the good coffee? That's, That's better than McDonald's. McDonald's didn't get no energy, man. Um, so, Ralph, yeah, so, uh, Taff DD and Head Ralph all best way to get in touch with him about booking him for events would be Instagram. You can email. Um, his email is in his description here on YouTube. But Instagram DMs Ralph the Baker one. But you know, that's why down here in Louisiana, I'm on the wrong damn lane. I'm on the right lane. Yeah, you're the right down here, people don't throw that magnet light pots away. You use it forever and ever and ever. And then when the time comes, bro, you, you get that you get that pot down to whoever the next cook is, bro. You, you don't throw them away. Yeah. So when you look at it like that, it ain't really that expensive. You know what I'm saying? Not for a pot you keep for freaking ever. Good morning, Miss Ginger. Well, pots, good pots are expensive in general. Magnolite. That's something special about it. It's something special about a Magnolite pot with that flavors. I'll tell you that right now. I don't give a damn what nobody says. I'm telling you. Thank you, Master Tang. Yeah, guys, if y'all don't mind hitting the thumbs up button. Yeah, I appreciate it. In the chat. It I helps Ralph out. Six pieces of um, chicken nuggets. What's huh? up, Korea? What's up, everybody? Um, and for, uh, someone earlier, I can't find the comment. If y'all asked about the cookbook, there are still some for sale on the website. I think they got 13 left. The description, RalphTheBaker.com. Yeah, I think they got about 13 cookbooks left, or maybe 18 or 13. I ain't sure, but they got a few left. Uh, they went faster than I thought they would. Cause see, whenever I did my first cookbook release, they sold out in a few hours. Mm -hmm. Like 500 of them sold out in a few hours. Then I did that dessert cookbook, and that kind of like, and they sold some here, some there. But it's like cooking cookbooks, y'all. They they really yeah, they, do good. they go good. They do real nice. Morning, Miss Mary. What's up, What's up Alonzo? Mary? Um, ooh, craft beer breweries. Do we have any breweries? Yeah, I don't know. We have Jack's some. breweries. Yeah, I don't know. Is that still like in production though? Damn right it is. Oh. As a craft beer. I don't know nothing about beer. Yeah, we have Jack's brewery like on the river in the French Quarter, but I didn't know if they still like really Produced. Good morning. Would you be using a mobile app today? Uh, no, thank you. What would you like? Two large vanilla iced coffees, please. Two large vanilla iced coffees? Yes, ma'am. Would that be all? Yes, ma'am. All right, well, your total comes to. 325. Okay, thank you. Um, I think you have my card in your wallet at home. Bro, I asked you specifically, do I need my wallet? I didn't know you had my card. Hold on, wait, Straight wait, wait. Hold on, we're gonna see if we got some cash or in here. I got Ooh. some quarters, man. Oh, wait, see, I man. got a little bit of cash for that. Damn, bro, I told Sarah, I said, look, I ain't got my wallet on me. Do I need my wallet? I know y'all, you're supposed to have your wallet to be driving, okay? But that's why I get in trouble and shit, okay? But I specifically said, do I need my wallet for anything? I think it's 325, huh? Yeah, but I didn't know you had my car, my debit card in your wallet. No, nah, we don't need your car. We don't, we don't need your wallet. We don't need that. Boom. No money. No money at hand. Let me make sure I ain't got my debit card. Y'all looking good. Keep it up. Thank you. I appreciate Sorry, it. Sorry, guys. I'm... Didn't we have another live where we walked? Bro, we go live, y'all. We do not have cash or cards. We just, just the way it goes. things to be for free at the one drive through. <laughs> Big taxi. Y'all looking good. Keep it up, brother. I do the same thing. I swear, y'all. I'm, I'm telling you, I do that freaking all the time. I knew it, though. I caught it. I did catch it before I left the damn yard, and I just didn't want to go back in. Now I got to go back to the damn house. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you. <laughs> I swear it's going to be my fault. Some kind it of is way. your fault, because I said, do I need it? Well, I don't know. It's your wallet. <laughs> is that doing burnout? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, my God. Thank you. Oh, 
Oh, no, ma'am. Faux bark? Am I saying that right? Brewing company just down your street? As long as you have gas. <laughs> we got some gas now. We got at least a half tank of gas, bro. We, we can make it some. We go to Alabama and back. Maybe not that. We get to Alabama, though. Oh, my God. Oh, that's true. You could have been paying. We got Apple Pay for you. Just use your phone. Phones is up there in your hands and shit. Oh, y'all seen that video where the guy said, y'all take Apple Pay or Dunkin' Donuts? And she said, yeah, we take Apple Pay. And he handed out Apple and ran off, bro. I said, boy, these people come up with some stuff. I guarantee you. Y'all truly make my day better watching you two have so much fun. <laughs> Thank Man, you, Kevin. I'm telling you. He's pushing people. I ain't forgot my wallet. <laughs> we had a whole debate about what I, pushing P means with my son. <laughs> yeah, right? I, uh, I told Sarah I forgot the damn thing at the damn house, bro. Oh my god. I'm laughing my eyes over at the Apple Pay. Bro, that was so funny, bro. I was laughing. I said, boy, boy, stupid, bro. What's up, Australia? We got Kentucky. What's up, Sky? What's up, what's up everybody? Oh, uh, Miss Ginger said driving Nash. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. That is true. He does. You do have LA Wallet on your phone now, like for your license. That's true. But I wouldn't think of that. I'd be like, officer, I just ain't got it, bro. No, the whole while is right there. I'm like, I can give you my social. It's probably birthday. suspended. <laughs> probably got 90 flags and four traffic warrants, bro. So I'm probably better off don't even give it to him. Just take my shot in the dark, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, Ralph be the guy that paid a number of seasons and saying it's on the house. <laughs> that's it, bro. That's the way you got to do it around here. What's up, Jamie? Yeah, that's been a while. Virginia checking in. What's up, Virginia? Popcorn rice. What's popcorn rice? Thank you. Listen, they always do me good in the morning, but you just gotta like, like swish it to get the sugar out of the plate there. All right, we're gonna find out, y'all. Okay. Oh no, that's terrible. All night hangover, that's horrible. All night hangover, bro? You gotta do it. Oh, we got Kenna in the house. What's, What's up, Kenna, bro? What you gotta do, I'm gonna tell you how to handle a hangover. I don't give a damn what nobody says. What you got to do is take two excedrin, eat one pickle, and drink three bottles of water. No more. Hey, when you switch from a pickle to a, from a banana to a pickle, you can, if you got a banana, you can do that too. Pick, the banana's good for the potassium. That, that pickle's good for the salt and all that. Then. All right, so a pickle and a banana. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna go that far, bro. Pick one or the other. All right, Gatorade and a banana, because Gatorade's got the electrolytes and sodiums. Right. I say straight water, bro. What's up, Brazil? A bunch of it. Only recently found your channel, but I'm gonna make the dirty rice recipe tomorrow. Looking forward that's to it. That's awesome. Yeah, you're gonna like that dirty rice. I'm gonna tell you that. I guarantee you, that's some good stuff, y'all. <laughs> you know, a lot of the food we make down here, it's real good, but it's kind of like, really, it's like, you think whenever people are making all this, they don't they have that much money because, like, everything you make, like, feeds so many people. You know what I mean? Like, dirty it's rice. Cheap. It's Red cheap. beans is cheap. Red beans feeds a lot of people. Your dirty rice is cheap. Jambalaya is cheap. Shit, dirty rice ain't cheap no more to cost the ground meat. Well, it used to be cheap. Yeah, you know, but for how many people you could feed with that recipe, it's cheap. You know, in the, in the scheme of things. Hell, you could eat it. Send What's your, up, Alex? Send your family, you know, your kids to school with some dirty rice for a week straight, bro. <laughs> until they're cursing <laughs> at you, bro. But look, this is what we got on the menu today. That's funny. They said, how you feel about, um... How you feel about Sean Payton retiring? Man, I think it sucks, bro. You know, they probably need me to go in there and coach for about a good year, too. I ain't going to hit them hard, bro. They're going to do is give me about 100000 bro. I'll go there and take care of this farm. <laughs> That's the worst NFL team in the league. I mean, look, and then I got a good excuse. We ain't got Payton. We ain't got Breeze. What y'all want me to do? You ain't work working with a whole lot. I'm doing what I can with what I got, bro. We've been doing this all my life. We fail everything. Lose every game. No, I think it sucks. I think he's got enough money, though. You know what I'm saying? I think it was time for him to go because he didn't want to invest that time. You know what I'm saying? To, to rebuild that relationship with another quarterback and another team. Man, I need ice chest and them shrimp right now. Now, they man. have a Netflix movie with Adam Sandler. It was good. It was Adam Sandler Productions or whatever that did with Sean Payton. 
and it was everybody's playing on it it's called home team everybody's playing on it i thought it was a really cute good movie feel good movie the I kids mean, i thought it was good it. too i think it gave you a little insight into his life I mean, well he sacrificed the relationship not, with his son to, to be down here in new orleans coaching yeah but they said i read that all that stuff wasn't really accurate a lot of that stuff was for like dramatic film production you know i'm sure it was but still in all you know what i'm saying it's a good little movie I like Brown it. should be the quarterback. <laughs> hey, bro. I, I, sometimes I say I can't do no worse. Y'all seen your boy, bro, Moan, whatever the hell his name is, Troy, goddamn interception and causing the whole damn game, bro. Yeah, see, the movie was good. Actually, I have to say, no, hell no. We don't do that, Jamie. We don't, we, 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 Jamie, I know it's been a minute since you've been on the show, but we, we ain't doing that. But anyways, we ain't gonna go there. Pie roasted potato soup are the best go to. Y'all ever try that pie roast how I showed y'all to leave the potatoes whole, leave the carrots whole? I'm telling you, it makes a difference. It makes a difference. I'm telling you that right now. Uh, ooh, someone said, please, 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 Southern, a Southern, uh, recipe for Southern coast. Oh, yeah, it's a good coast. That's style. a good idea. That's a good one. That is a good one. Boy, it's a raggedy looking day out here. I'll tell you that right now, too. I know, they really can't see the weather. Y'all want to see the weather? Y'all don't, don't look like like that raggedy from right now. <laughs> it's okay, Jamie. I know you ain't been here for me. <laughs> I'm not gonna know what you're doing. So, anyway, if y'all just joining, we gotta go back and get my wallet because I left that at the house right now. We gotta go get some envelopes so we can ship out the cookbooks. They got to get on out of here before I start getting cursed out again in the emails blowing up. Mm -hmm. I'm like, sorry, what's going on in the emails? Y'all don't wanna know. When she <laughs> says that, I tell you, right, I don't wanna know. <laughs> Yeah, he'll hear the notifications. Wanna get these envelopes? We'll do that. What else I gotta do? I got. We already went to the post office and dropped off a few. I'm asking things. what video you're doing today, too. I'm gonna make some andouille sausage and some shrimp. I'm put it in them. I mean, it's gonna be in the boat. Throw something else in there. I'm gonna have some vegetables. I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's real, real good. That's like for when the Super Bowl comes down. Oh, this is a good one for the Super Bowl, y'all. It's a real good one. All you need is about a few pounds of shrimp and some andouille sausage or smoked sausage and uh, your vegetables, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to show you what to do with it. And then what you do is everybody gets a boat. A boat will fill you about one boat per person. So if you got a little Super Bowl party about to go down. And you can throw it on the grill if you want to. That's what I'm about to say. Throw them on the grill. About 15, 12, 15 minutes. And boy, when they come off, everybody going to grab a boat, burn, and try and go back for another one. You got to watch them. Ooh, you need to redo your, um... No, they ain't for my house. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got the water department by the house. <laughs> oh, playing. no, that's not by our house. That's like playing, Oh, that dirty raisin is fine. I gotta try that. I swear that's good. Bro. Okay, you so if you can that. find on Dewey Sausage, if you can find, um... Some type of a smoked sausage, because yeah, I know that even sausage. smoked sausage is kind of difficult for some people to get. Are there like, don't have like different versions of it? And everybody got smoked sausage, man. I don't think so. Y'all let me know if y'all like, got smoked sausage. Like when we went to Muddy's house in Alabama, they used a different kind of sausage for like they did the shrimp bowl. Let me grab my wallet, y'all, if I get this card, y'all. Um. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. Um, wing and coleslaw rule, yeah. Ralph, Kevin. Okay, so you probably haven't heard the stories on the lives. Ralph goes more live on Instagram a lot because it's a little bit more chill with the restrictions and stuff. Um, so he was just telling the story. He does not. He's not a good fisherman. Um, he catches little baby sharks when he's trying to catch a redfish. Um, he sunk three boats, so we don't allow Ralph on boats. Him and the water do not mix at all. He, he wants to be on the water. He has a love for it, but when he gets to the water, it's like, it's chaos. Y'all know if Ralph's going to make it home or not. <laughs> I can find on Dewey in northern Minnesota. It should be pretty easy to find. Oh, okay. I took the keys in on y'all, my bad. I'm sorry. I know you got the dinging in their ear and everything. I got it covered, y'all, my bad. I had to get in. I have to show them how to fish when I come through there. 
<laughs> right? No, Rob, I was telling someone asked if you like the fish. Well, yeah, so. I like the fish. The fish just don't like me. <laughs> they don't like him. They go, the they go the opposite direction when Rob comes I got the best out. bait in the water, bro. The fish don't fool with me, man. Oh, my God. I thought my car was open. All right, so this is the cookbook. Vitamin production is probably backwards on the screen for you guys. We finally got them. Dirty recipes. This one is really good. I liked how he did a lot of recipes that I feel like both men and women would feel comfortable yeah, with. Because they got a nice mix of it, of like whatever your like your thing is. Indoor, outdoor cooking, the grill, the smoker, the stove, the oven. Like a good mix, for, like I feel like it was really inclusive for everybody, so everybody could use up. Because you know some people, some men love to cook indoors, outdoors, and women too. So I think it just, I don't know. It was a good mix, so I like that. Really Alright, let's see. Uh, last night I made barbecue chicken, a okay. corn cob, and baked potato. Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds good, good. Yeah, that that sounds good Anne Marie. You was throwing it down. That's what I'm talking about. Is it healthy? Hell no, it ain't healthy. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Ain't nothing I cook healthy. Oh, the healthy. food in the cookbook? No, Ralph really is not. I can't healthy. even. I Just... can't even say you want, bro. If you want something healthy, I hit for to tell you that. Bro. Yeah, I don't. He really isn't. It's good. It just ain't good for you, okay? Oh. Man, this rain sucks. We're gonna Walmart on. Oh, okay, Anne Marie. When we get off, I'm gonna go watch it. We're gonna Elmwood and uh. Oh, we watched a good movie last night. What that movie was watched last night? Um, the hate you give us, uh, the hate you give. Man, y'all watch that movie yet? The hate you give. That, that was a good movie. I ain't gonna lie, it was a good one. Now. It was. That's right, a good little movie right now. Dang, that's why you was spamming to see if we was real. Why you keep spamming us? You ain't got spam, babe. We gonna I'm read real. it. I promise. I try to real. get it all the comments. As much as I can. Which I will say, they do got people that like put up fake lives. On YouTube? Yeah. I don't watch YouTube lives. But it ain't real. It's real, I guess, but maybe it's real recorded or some stupid ignorance or something. I don't know. What's up, Edward? You see a uh, live on here. It's live, live. Yeah, if you go on Instagram, we talk about the dogs a little bit more. But yeah, we got, we will in the future. Shit. We got a bunch. We got. Got two letters coming about to drop, y'all, next month. Yeah. Right after my birthday, as a matter of fact. We did watch Ozark at the beginning, but we're yeah. horrible about finishing different That's series. Once it, yeah, man, we're terrible at that, man. And then once it's kind of like, we'll binge something, and then it's like, either if we don't get far enough, or like they stop it because we're waiting on a new season, we rarely pick it back up. It's called a premiere, Ralph. What the hell is a premiere? What's the book that one? I guess it's a movie. I don't know. Oh. Um. Been watching your channel started. Have you ever been out here to home in Louisiana? Oh, yeah, man. I've been to home a million times. I caught a pink dolphin at home one time. That's when I almost got killed on the boat out there. That's where you almost sunk a boat. Huh? With the pink dolphin came through. I almost, I almost died at home the last time I was down there fishing. I'll tell you that right now. That's a true story there. Oh, boy. Out there trying to catch shrimp, and I messed around and caught a pink dolphin. What's up, Tennessee? What's up, David? Said he's on his lunch break. All right, David, bro. You on his little lunch break? Chilling out? In his miserable weather? It's terrible. Squid Games. Did. Ralph watched it, I did. Squid, I, didn't I did. like Squid Games, bro. I thought that was good, y'all. Okay, but you got your uh, top off? You uh, want to spill your coffee? She just knocked my top off my coffee. She got nerve to tell me I got my top off. You did that. Well, I'll tell you, boy. Well, yeah, boy, Patriot, so he does. He has a cookbook for sale right now. Yeah. Um, his other one is just, his original one is just e-file form. It's not the printed version. He has a dessert cookbook. This one, y'all. And he just released this cook, his second cookbook. That's the one that's available right there. Just ordered RTV oh, birthday mystery box. Send me some that, great that, stuff. That's, that's going to be a good one. Thank Emmett. you, Emmett. That's going to be a good it. one, Emmett. I guarantee. I never did one of those, Emmett, but that, that's going to be my good one. Yeah. Emmett, um, y'all must be getting some bad weather out there too then, huh? Yeah. What's he at, VR? Yeah. 
I don't know if they got David's bad probably weather. getting bad weather too. I know, right? I invited David to come Saturday. I don't know. He said his wife, uh, last time he went off, smacked him in the face. David ain't married. Yeah, David's married. Man, you ain't know David's married with seven kids? What David? David and Slidell, man. He ain't married with seven kids. Get the hell up out of here. David is married, man. No, I don't think so. Oh, I'll tell you the truth, boy. This woman knows every damn thing. David, you married? He said, yeah, pretty bad. Three kids. Dang, I didn't know you was married. So you thought David was single, ready to mingle? Yeah, I did. I don't know well, why. Boy, Sarah ain't shit, boy. <laughs> damn, like Phillips Rivers. Oh, love you cooking. Thank y'all. I appreciate you, man. What's up, Ralph? I used your roast recipe to cook up some deer. I got the season. It was great. That's awesome. Yeah, man. That's a good idea, too. I'll tell you that. That's a real good idea. I bet you that was good. Yes, indeed. We don't need to get no deer, y'all, because... God knows I can't hunt and catch nothing. Might give me a rifle one day and go out there and see what I can do. Emmett said I'm ready. I'm single and ready to mingle. Emmett's ready, bro. <laughs> Emmett's in full effect. Emmett said I'm ready. Come and uh, get it. All right now, Emmett. Emmett said he is in. Um, he said you look at thin. Oh, How you stay in good shape and all that good food? Yo, all right. I think I'm just lucky. Cause I really ain't thin. I'm still about 100 pounds still but I do like a little bit skinny on my face but I ain't no, no let it fool you bro I even thought that for damn self so I lost about three pounds bro now I get five back now I lose four get two back and I lose y'all know the game what's up? Know, yeah what's up you talk no that's right Kevin no we ain't giving him no rifle to be shooting nothing yeah, I need to go out there back get me a deer one day see but what I want to do is I got a plan I'm gonna go when it ain't deer season right now I can hurt, but I can really find one. Take them down, throw them in the trunk, and go home, bro. And then I ain't got to worry about nobody else being out there and all that scaring them off. You can't do that if it's out of season, fool. Get in trouble. <laughs> I'm already wanted by the wildlife anyway. They're gonna extra want me. You think this is it? That's just my single vibe. <laughs> man, it's raining. This sucks, man. I'm cool. You're right. Hey, did I miss Ralph's 40? And if so, happy belated. So, no, Ralph turned 40 on 40 ain't, man, I can't the 9th, this, man. next so, Wednesday. Bitch. I might go drink again tonight thinking about this 40. Why? Me and 40 it ain't, ain't gonna go long. away. It ain't going nowhere, it's full. 40's coming. It's coming fast. Man, coming in high. I was just heaven. 20, bro, and all of a sudden I was 30, and that boom, 40. When I'm gonna be 80, bro, that quick? Really? The hell going on here? I ain't got no black eye. What the hell y'all say? <laughs> you so stupid. <laughs> what, what do I look like? I got a black eye on here. Let me, Let me see. see. Let me see. Might be a mascara or something. That's the makeup. I don't know. <laughs> you don't look a day over thirty-two. I appreciate it, but I tell you, man. Damn, y'all. Is it just me? I mean, it really does seem like the older we get, the faster the years go by. For real. Seriously can't just be me. Yeah, because when I was a kid, it felt like... Man, yeah, like, slow. man, you couldn't do... You, 18, man, it took you five years. It felt like you get there. God knows it took, it felt like 10 more years to get there at 21. And now you can forget about it, bro. Man, that quick, yo. I don't know, cool. I mean, you ain't got to <laughs> be on here if you don't want to be. If you see bags of black eye, I mean, I don't know. Why you can't? I don't know, because he keeps saying it. I'm a, I can't mute him, though. Uh, Give me Amory, right mute him for me, cause I don't want to hear his bullshit today. If you don't like it, be gone, bro. For you get a catch yourself a black eye too. Oh well, yeah, my right looks pretty silly. <laughs> really? You're right, Ralph. The years just flash by nowadays. Man, they do, y'all. For real, man. It's like damn. Every time you turn around, man, it's, it's done. Nothing damn you. Um, I'm gonna go roll up on Eddie at work, bro. Like, what's up, dude? <laughs> My life is short, but it's the longest thing we will ever do. Don't fret too much. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. I'm, uh, I'm 21 tomorrow and I feel 35. Oh, uh, you young, man. 21, but you young. Oh, young. man. You, you just, just starting life. off. Yeah, you're starting life. Yeah. You need to get it together now. 
right now is the time to start getting it together. Well, you're gonna mess up being 20s, it's not right. You hit them 30s though, you'd be on you'd be on the top of the world, man. By the time you turn 40, hopefully everything's in place by then. I'm just running behind. I'm just trying to get things in place by 60, okay? <laughs> by 60. When all the kids are growing at the house. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we are. Oh, we are riding through Howard Henry. Well, kind of Howard Henry by Elmwood. Right there by the. Uh, but we turn it in Howard Henry now. We're going to Walmart, y'all. Y'all know where the Walmart is? Man, it's raining, bro. I can't get out the car. Oh, like this. Ralph, we want the wheat. We didn't well, even bring Walmart. Definitely wait, y'all. We're going to Walmart right here. You know beside the Huey Belong Bridge right now? Safe travels. Thank y'all. AGB already weeks ago. Shelves are bare. Look like. Oh, wait. At least New Orleans didn't get all the snow us Boston's got. Man, I don't know how y'all do it. I swear, y'all. Like, I, I want to see snow. But, man, I see some videos. I'm like, man, that would that would get my anxiety bad, man. Person, lady said she was in her car and it was like, snow blizzard. I don't know. Maybe it's normal if you get a lot of snow. And all of a sudden, 15 minutes later, she, she could barely open a door. Oh, man, my anxiety would get bad. I've been done jumped out the window. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. Yes, I know my city. Push that straw down. I know. Ain't that straw so you can't, bro. I hate when he does these stupid long shots. If y'all drink your drinks like this, you're going to be happy. You're going to be like, man, bro, put me on something. They're going to always be cold, bro. Why the hell you want to push it to the bottom where it's And hot? that's the wateriest part where your ice is melting. You got to get to it one way or another. No, you drink down here. And, and yours is hot, bro. No, it's not. It's cold. It's got the same temperature through All right, through. drink yours at the bottom mm -hmm. and then try this out. Tell the truth. Don't even lie around him now. From right there now. How much cold is mine? Be honest. None. I swear Same to God, this lying son of a bitch. And it didn't taste water. Yeah, she's lying to y'all again. <laughs> lying again. We got our umbrella. I want my king cake without icing, just like Mackenzie. Man, um, I know, huh? The only thing is that's really hard for him to do is like a variety on the king cakes. I tried that. Boy, that went he the tried that, so he's it kind of just like... His, he's just doing a lot of variation. icing in there, y'all. Yeah, but it's really not. It's really the icing is really just for the sugar to stick. It's really not like that thick icing. Yeah, I don't like that thick icing. I, I'm with y'all, and I don't give a damn for that either. Y'all see the Huey P. Long Bridge behind us right there? Y'all remember, if y'all from out here, anybody might know. Remember how small the Huey P. Long Bridge used to be, y'all? Boy, that thing was small, y'all. Man, we screwed it. We got to get out in this weather. We are done for. I think it's going to be like this all day. This sucks. Listen, we're gonna be wet, man. This, this yeah, crack me up. This ain't a good situation. It's iced vanilla coffee. Uh, would you consider doing a food truck one day? Oh yeah, I'd buy one tomorrow if I had the money I could just put out on it. I'd buy one tomorrow. I tell you that right now, but that ain't some bitch expensive, y'all. It is. It food is. truck is. And expensive. then there's like uh, a lot of restrictions because we looked into it before. There's a lot of restrictions in Jefferson Parish, where we're at. New Orleans Parish, you got to wait in a, on a list to get a permit because they only give so many out. Yeah, you can't have a food truck out there. Right? <clears throat> well, I think you can for like if they have certain events, festivals, or right. But you can't just ride around here on the daily. Yeah, not outside the road or not in Jefferson Parish. Right, they raggedy, bro. Um. I love y'all's relationship dynamic. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate you, man, you know. It's pricey, but it would be a great goal. Yeah, it would yeah, be. Yeah, no, no doubt. And I'm I think it one. would be successful, but it's hard, especially right now with all of that. What's up, bro? What's up, what's up, y'all? I'll trade you some of this snow and ice for just rain for sure. <laughs> I bet the hell you would. I'll take some snow. They talking about we getting a winter blast or what they, What you call it? Arctic something. Yeah, we're getting an Arctic blast. It's going to drop down to 45 degrees over here. Right now, it's 66 degrees right now. Okay, so Travion once would like you to talk about the crime in New Orleans right now. They've been seeing a lot of people talk about it on TikTok. Crime? It's bad. Crime is so bad in New Orleans that I wouldn't even go down. I wouldn't, you, I'm not going to New Orleans. It's just, it just ain't worth it. Now we live, um, to make it clear, we live on the city line of Metairie and New Orleans. So we're like, where we live, it's like an exit or two away from New Orleans. Right, we about, about four or five minutes away from New Orleans. We could be inside the French Quarter and shit like that, like six, like six seven minutes. We could mm -hmm. be inside there. But point being, 
we've been staying in Jefferson Parish because it's so dangerous, y'all. Like, man, it's out of control. I think the uh, shoot, the carjackings is up like 1100%. Mm -hmm. Armed robberies were up like five, six hundred percent. I mean, it's dangerous, bro. I'm talking about, man, I, I can't advise nobody to come down here for Mardi Gras because you know, no. shit, they're about to take advantage of wearing the mask, y'all. I'm going to tell you that right now. They are about to take advantage of that this year, baby. You can guarantee it. And what they're going to do? It's kind of normal to see people with masks. It is normal to see people with masks on now and even ski masks in some situations, you know? No, nobody getting caught, bro. And then it's happening in broad daylight. It really don't matter the neighborhood. You could be just at a red light, minding your business. I have a theory on why they doing it. It's just my opinion. But they doing it because they can get away with it, man. Yeah, and then the yeah the police. You can't just call the are cops. Are being overrun? Honestly. You can't just call the cops in New Orleans shit like that, y'all. Don't work that way. Like, let's say if you live in New Orleans and your house gets a burglary, right? And you and somebody broke in and stole all your stuff. Literally, anybody that lives down here will tell you, it could take up to two to three days for a cop to make it to your house. Straight up. And when you call them back, they're gonna say, "Look, we're dealing with rape, murders, killings. We ain't. We'll be there when we can get there." That's scary, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's scary. And then bro. we have an interstate shooter. We got a serial shooter on interstate. They're not even talking about. They ain't even. I don't even know how much that is being publicized outside of. Like here. thirty, over thirty people have been shot on the interstate, but they don't even see it coming. They just get shot. Just get shot randomly. They didn't see nobody, no altercations, nothing. They ain't even talking about that. Yeah. They ain't talking about it. So now you don't even want to drive on the damn well, interstate. What was so crazy is y'all. We was in Metairie going out <laughs> vet yesterday, and they had a bunch of Louisiana state troopers on the exit. Went to, off the interstate and they all sitting there like five or six of them Ralph took a picture and they checking for brake tags and I'm sitting here looking at these cops I'm like why y'all ain't on Claiborne right now where they've been having this shooter why y'all ain't making y'all's presence known to try and stop the shooting but y'all coming over here harassing people behind brake tags which is an inspection sticker to you guys it's like what? it's crazy y'all yeah they're not telling people about that man it, it's, it's just scary bro <laughs> you shoot to make you don't want to go to the interstate I'll tell you that right now yeah, and yes, you are right. It's the it's kids. It is kids. It's kids. Tell like you that, 12, right 13, 16 years old doing all these carjackings. And you know, look, with that this is a whole nother topic of why these kids are out there in these streets doing this stuff. But what's gonna happen is these kids gonna end up getting hurt. Someone's gonna defend I'm gonna themselves. Because right they I... coming with guns. Oh, they come to take gun. your car. They're not just coming. They're coming and putting a gun in your face. I'm going to tell y'all some shit about New Orleans. Hurt. And, and y'all let me know if the shit is, is the same way as the way y'all live and stuff like that. But shit, down here in New Orleans, y'all, you got to be, you better be more scared of the kids. And I say kids and all, let's say like 9, 10, really 8 years old, all the way up to maybe 9, 9, 8, 9, I've all the way to like 16. I don't necessarily know about that because we got robbed and it was all young, young kids. All right, we'll go from 9 to 16. That's the one that knock your, knock your ass off, bro. They will knock you off. More than likely, when you're on Bourbon Street and stuff like that, yeah, you could have an altercation. You might have a situation go down, you know, something some stupid. Yeah, you, got some, you got some altercations. But these kids that you think are harmless, bro, will knock you off, bro, quick. I ain't lying. Quicker I'm than an adult. You, it, ain't, it ain't the old school fools you really got to worry about. It's the young kids. And I told Sarah. It's so sad. When it's they so asses start getting knocked off, bro, I don't want to hear nobody on the news crying, bro. But you don't want to see that happen. You know I don't what I'm give saying? a damn, bro. The younger generation don't give a... That's right. The young generation don't give a damn. That's right. Yep. It's, it's terrible. Shit. They said, I'm in Dallas. We ain't never heard... We haven't heard about that. And we got... The, I'm telling you, I, I don't advise nobody to come down for Mardi Gras. And I hate to say that. I mean, I love the city, but... I'm going to tell somebody to come down here, bro, mm -hmm. when, it, when it's out of control, you know? Literally, they had a news conference the other day. The chief of police is blaming the district attorney, and the district attorney is blaming the chief of police, bro. Yeah, like, they had two different conference, press conferences on TV, and they were like, well, it's his fault. And they're like, no, it's his fault. Which I understand both sides, because the chief's saying, hey, we locking him up. We locked, I'm going to make a name up. We locked Joe up yesterday for, for, for a burglary. And then we had to come back literally that night and get, because Joe was released, and pick him up again for another burglary. Right, because the so, DA's letting him out. It's kind of like they got to work together, man. And that's what people saying. Well, work together. Shit, you, you know, I mean, that's what you got to do. 
Yeah. Cause guess what? If you go to jail for a burglary, bro, <laughs> on the day, and you back in jail at night for a burglary, well, you probably ain't got no place on the streets, bro. Yeah, it's so sad, y'all. So. I know everybody wants to come out to New Orleans, but right, right now. now, and honestly, crime usually doesn't pick up like such a spike till the summertime when it's hot. Usually, crime's a little bit more chill in the winter. Yeah. But dang, mm -mm, at, since the new year, it has been hey, insane. Hey, babe, I got some new Doritos. Hey, baby, I got some new Doritos. Yeah, so it, it's sad, man. Shit, mm -hmm. you know, I, I see people talking about it. I just normally don't and stuff like that too much, but man. I wouldn't advise nobody to come down to, to New Orleans. Mm -mm. It's too dangerous. It, it, it's sad to say that, but until they can get a grip on things, it's too dangerous. You know, and people are wearing masks, but they ain't never gonna get caught. Mm -mm. It's the reality, you know? It's easy, I'm sorry, guys, I'm, I'm reading the comments. Um, that is to, I think, RJ's lockbox thingy, book thing he's got. Um, it's crazy. They want to lock the parents up for doing for what the kids are doing. Well, honestly, I think because the, the parents have so much prior knowledge of what's going on when they're investigating and then the parents aren't doing anything to intervene when their kids are out of control or in the streets or, I mean, you know, look, I mean, it's sometimes kids there ain't nothing you can do, right? But let's be honest. The kid goes out there. And and, and, <laughs> and and does an armed robbery. Well, you know what they do? They take that kid, they bring him down to juvenile. He's got to stay there till his mom gets there to get him out. He gets a court date. Right. He's back on the streets, committing more armed robberies. That's, that's, the system is broke out here. The system is broke. And Louisiana's the most corrupt state you ever seen in your life. I'm going to say that right now. So they can't make money off of having kids locked up. So what they're going to do in return, they're just going to keep on letting them out. And, and the crime happened. And it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Them little kids been getting away with this for, for so many years, y'all. Mm -hmm. But what, what I think is worse than it, what really speaks to our, as a community, is look, I, everybody's got a hustle. Everybody, and some people cut corners to, to make it in life, because it's rough out here, especially in New Orleans. But one of the biggest downfall is they recruit kids. Because at the end of the day, this is all a, a I don't know if you want to call it gang or crime organization, whatever's going on at the top to make money. They they recruiting the kids, and it's like when when did that become part of your hustle? Is putting these kids out there like that? They see desperate kids with no money, broke in broken homes, and they desperate to get something. And they putting oh, no these problem, kids out there, and that's a sh that's well, really let a shame. Know. We we were outside in New Orleans, y'all in Jefferson Parish, about three four minutes outside of New Orleans, so. And shit, don't get me wrong, so I can get a little rowdy out in Jefferson Parish, but nothing like down there in New Orleans. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you come down here to Jefferson Parish, you can expect, bro, you going to the, you going, you getting, you getting, you getting jammed up, bro. They, they ain't, they, you know, they, they know that. Get me wrong, like I said, they'll come out here and commit a few crimes, but they don't want to do it. They would rather stay in New Orleans with the major stuff. Because they know they ain't going to, like I told y'all, you call the cops, bro, you got to wait three days. Oh, well, your house is broken into. We'll be there in a few days. It is what it is. You know, that's, that's a problem. The system is broke, bro. I don't, I don't know what else to say. But, you know, for Mardi Gras time, they got a lot of cops and all that there on Bourbon Street. But, like, don't really stop anything from happening. Mm -hmm. We was down there when, for quite a few years ago, and, and bullets were flying right past me and this fool, bro. You know what I mean? Like, it don't stop nothing from happening because... Even though there's a lot of cops, there could be 200 cops or 100 cops. There's 100,000 people on Bourbon Street. What the hell are they going to do? By the time they fight their way through the crowd, hell, you done been shot, robbed, and, and, and drugged to the side of the building. You know, so I, I don't know, y'all. You know, I'd say, man, shit. I, anybody that follows me, I'll just advise you to not come out here until they can get under control. Yeah. I don't know. You know, it sucks, man. You hate to say that because... You know, the businesses need the money. And I'm sure people will come, but you're going to see. Oh, you're going to see some crime, bro. You're going to see it go down. If I anything can't. looks like Mardi Gras 2020, oh, Lord. It's worse than 2020. It was bad Mardi Gras 2020 right before the panorama had. It was bad Mardi Gras. Season. And you got to think, people, you know what I'm saying, was making that living off of it. People make a lot of money during that time of the year. No matter what your hustle is out there, they make a lot of money doing that. So they ain't been able to make that living in a while. So they, they are ready. Mm -hmm. Believe me when I tell you they're ready. That's true. I mean, Brooks, I think 
people that do come out of state, they start trouble, but it's a different kind of trouble for Mardi Gras. Tourists come that aren't accustomed to partying 24 seven. They, they, get, away. they get carried away, they're drunk. You know, we're used to drinking and partying from sunrise to, to sunset. And people come and they get carried away and they might get irritated or instigate fights or something. But we're talking about like the crime, like the severe crime. We got the shootings, the killings, the carjackings. This is homegrown, you know? And the tourists are often the ones targeted in that situation. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No doubt about it. You know, it's uh. It's <laughs> yeah, we gotta use co-words, co Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, it's unfortunate, man, but you know. Yeah. I don't know. Hopefully they can get it right, but you know, New Orleans ain't never got it right yet, so who, who knows, y'all? Yeah, this has, been, this has been something that's been happening for Hell, so long. 20 years ago, me and my dad was doing a siding job down there in New Orleans, and four little kids took it, bro. Took the whole truck, ran all the tools. I mean, they ain't nothing new to it. Yeah. They ain't new to this, bro. They true to it, bro. They don't give a damn, yeah. you know? And nobody, and then it's hard to even get <laughs> cops, because... They don't want to work for uh, Orleans. Man, they, got, they got neighborhoods and cops can't even go into. And they ain't been there to go into in years, man. You know your city messed up when the, when the cops can't go into the neighborhoods, man. No, Ramirez. I meant sunrise to sunset. We start in the morning. <laughs> he said, did you mean sunset to sunrise? No, actually, it's sunrise to sunrise around here. Yeah. You could you drink. start in the morning. If we wanted to party right now, right <laughs> now, <laughs> yep. we can go down to Bourbon. We can get us some beverages. Walk around if it wasn't raining, hit bar to bar, club to club. Yeah, we're 24 hours. Like, we Road. don't have closing time or what you no. call it, last call. There's we don't no have last calls. That. There's no closing. Nothing closes. Nothing closes. Only thing that closes is your bank account if you run out of money. But if you don't run out of money, you could party till the sun comes up, goes down, and comes back up, and goes back down again. Yep. Yep. Sunrise and sunset is easy. And we stealing <laughs> elephants from the zoo. Yeah, man, if they could make money on it, they're going to get that damn elephant. Well, uh, somebody in here said that, because um, uh, she's from here, she went to Houston after Katrina, and okay. she said, or before Katrina, and she said the guy that fixed her windows said that they, they pay kids to bust out windows so that they can go make have windows, more windows to go fix. There you go. I'm talking about I mean, it's just... That's a shame. Shit's crazy, man. It's, uh... They got to do something with this crime down there. They got to, they're gonna have to fix it, y'all. Well, you know, for years they've been needing to get the National Guard down here and they ain't did it yet. You know, this is what I tell Sarah too. If they wanna get this crime under control, they can get this crime under control. You believe that? You believe me? When they ready. But they make money on it. You know, you make money on locking them up. You make money when they gotta bond out. The lawyers make money, and the judges have got a job to do. So everybody makes money off all this crime, and down here in Louisiana, it's big. Oh yeah, big Shit's money big. to be made in Louisiana. Off the if you system. if you kill all the crime or most of the crime, now what they gonna live off of, bro? What, what they gonna do? Tickets is a big revenue. Uh, the probation system, drug court, all of that is a big Shit, money, yeah, a big money hustle in Louisiana. You go to jail for stealing in Louisiana. And you'll wind up on two years of drug court and you ain't never did drugs a day in your life. Yeah. But every time they call your color, you better go down there with your $15 money order. It's a scam and a scam. Why the hell somebody needs to be on drug court when they ain't never been on drugs in their life? Well, think about it. They call you three times a week, $15 a pop, that's $45 a week, every week for two years. Yeah. With thousands and thousands and thousands of people. And you do that or go to jail. What you want to do? Oh, yeah, I go on drug court and help with it. That's right you're gonna do that's that's how they make their money because mm -hmm. if they wanted to kill the crime or curve it they would you believe that ralph this is what you're doing your 41 talk about the state of affairs and your health and kids <laughs> that's Eric. well you ain't shit bro you're a damn lie <laughs> that is so funny you a damn lie so yeah oh my you ready to get these envelopes take them off thing we're going to get these envelopes all right, man. My no, hair. we don't smoke. We have, you know, but we don't really partake in that. We we drink a lot of beverages and chill and stuff like that. We're we for public office. I mean, hell, I couldn't even do nothing. I, I'd end up in New Orleans. I'd be corrupt, man. Shit, man. They'd be like, "Ralph, there's this envelope right here with some cash in it." I'd be like, "All right, well, I don't know nothing, bro." That's the way it runs. I ain't even gonna lie. All right, we're running out. That's the new cookbook right there, though, y'all. I got about 13 left. 
So if y'all want one, grab you one. RalphTheBaker.com. Let's go in and get these envelopes so we can mail these cookbooks before I get cursed out. Having a few drinks and solve the world problems. Shit. It's that easy, bro. You start solving too many problems, bro. You probably wind up getting whacked out there in New Orleans, bro. It's very corrupt out here. Alright, grab that phone. Let's ride. Alright, you got the keys. One. You take this phone. Alright. I got the keys. Alright, y'all. Let's go in for a walk real quick. We gotta go battle this red and gray. Y'all just bear with me. Hold on. How I'm, you gonna, doing? I'm gonna flip it around. Oh, okay. Alright, hold on, guys. <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna go back to calling you, Ed, on YouTube, alright? Yeah, we just gotta hope the water don't get way deep on Ralph because he's gonna be calling the Mayday to the Coast Guard again. <laughs> Envelopes. Sausage? Uh, yeah, the stuff for you. Uh, then our video, whatever you're doing. We got shrimp at home, so we need and we need the rest. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, they playing music. We might get in trouble. Hey, you don't get one the damn oh, I know, right? Hey, all right, y'all bear with me. I'm gonna read the comments when we get in. Oh, oh. All right. Oh. Man, they got the air blown. That's for free. Hey guys, all right. Yeah, yeah. How we all love it. Molly Burrow. That time of the year, bruh. Oh, Friday season is in commit. Love y'all. That time of the year, bruh. Get you some rain right now. Oh, so you got a big, channel. huh? Uh, the three in comments, they said they love the channel. Bruh, if you get you a big cropper's party going, you need this many trays, you have something serious, though. Real. See, that's what you get when you walk in. Sure. Yeah, um, occasionally he'll get someone that'll recognize him. Some people just, you can tell, just stare and some people say hi. I need some vegetables. Put it down, bags around. Mm -hmm. Bags. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ralph and Walmart don't get along too good, usually. Okay, I'm shivering. Freezing now. What's up, Kelly Mystic? Kevin, we doing good out here. It's been a little crazy recently since the hurricane, but things are all getting better. Hit him with the cart. Oh, no, why are y'all trying to get me in trouble? Wait, I'm trying to move out the way. Good, that's right. These boys struggling to get the bags in. Private, I already know. Always that one wheel. Um, well, we're in Jefferson Parish, so Orleans Parish has different rules in Orleans. Um, it is mandated in Jefferson Parish. They lifted the mandate, I think in August, but it's still optional. And a lot of people still do it. We do, usually. <clears throat> but it's just the same. They got no other color belt that was running good? The colored, uh, the red and the yellow and the orange is oh, in there. I see them over there, okay. Let's go. I know, Ralph works so fast. You want mushrooms in your bowl? Yeah, you can throw me some in there. <laughs> I know. Well, he's doing it shrimp boats today. He's not putting salad in. Who, Ralph? 
you ain't had no beverages yet. What? That's just his accent, I guess. Alright. That's about good right there, y'all. That'd be good. You got onions? I ain't got nothing down? Um just grab one because I'm, I'm freezing, right? I'm shivering. Because I'm all wet from the rain. Right, let me see what kind of mushrooms I want. Um, I take up juggling for a uh, professor. I thought I could do it, bro. All right. All right, Maybe. Uh oh. Lord. This is boring. This is what happens. He always gets us in trouble right now. Kevin, he is. This is Ralph. This is Dang Ralph in his natural habitat. He's always a fool, drinking a night. So I don't know. I'm going to have to check and make sure he didn't have one before we left. No, no jalapenos. Ralph likes them, but nobody else ever eats them. Want to get some beef liver? No, no. Good. Right here. They got, they got their sausage right there where they live? Ooh, this is a good kind. Yo, all I'm saying, do y'all got this right here? This is how you make your hot sausage pool boys, right there. Did you get the debit card? Yeah, hold on. Okay. Did you make sure it was in there? Yep. Look, baby, the sausage is right there. Oh, they got it right here? All right, we got some smoked sausage. We got... Yo, look. What I'm going to get y'all right here. I thought you was going to get on Dewey. And you're shaking like a little bit. I uh -huh. heard freezing. You want to get on doing? You want to just do some smoke? I was going to do double D smoke. Um, I'm trying to think what the kids are eating about. Just do the double D smoke. Alright. Come on, get out the cold section, girl. Oh, we just made it real quick. Ugh. It's cold. You wait right here. I'm freezing. This boy. Do you think it's salty? <laughs> Walmart don't have all that. Really? All right, so this is going in the boat. This is going in his boat. We got shrimp at home, smoked sausage. Ooh, yes, Ralph has made jalapeno poppers. Right. poppers. I'm going to see if he has a video on that, though. Let's go, girl. Watch your feet before I roll them off. Mm. Hold on, now we got speed walk. Oh, David, we have not been able to meet up with Big Four in forever. Because they live like three hours away from us. Oh, I need toilet paper. <laughs> Where? I'm sorry, guys. He's teaching us how to grocery shop, grocery card, grocery list, money, let's go. <sighs> And he walks so fast. That's the big problem. What else you need? Um, envelopes. Envelopes. Who in here has got the cookbook? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Look, they just said, don't forget the envelopes. Well, I got to get them around. I ain't no doubt. Oh. Damn, we can go to Walmart and Kennel. Oh, we did, huh? <laughs> you can get us kicked out. What's up, Morero? We're on the uh, East Bank. We're in Jefferson Parish in Metairie. <laughs> yes, yes, we do you get a lot of anger and frustration being a Walmart. Anybody in there got, uh, got a cookbook on the way? 
Um, they haven't said. I don't know. We're about somebody. All them people. Know. How many people you got now? No, some of them had to order one. David right? said, "Mine is ordered. Get my envelope." Huh? I have like over. Um, I don't know. I printed a lot of labels this morning. I don't know if I have David's in there or not. I don't know if I'm quite to that day yet. Got the boxes, What's up, vets? Oh, they finally got them. I got to get these bitches while they hot. Huh? Yeah. It's Not only been good. a week since, two weeks since we could find them. Ah. That's just part of the experience. <laughs> all right. Um, Michael, he does. See, you got a belt on that boy. He's got all kinds of belts. He just, I don't know if he always wears. Look. Got a belt. Oh, look at you. Oh, you so sexy. Ooh, ooh, do that I don't again. Do I have a, it's got, Ralph, do that again. It's ooh. got VS1 diamonds in that belt. <laughs> Shut the hell up. I don't wear no fake belts around here, okay? Shut the hell up. Ooh, look at you. Ooh, ooh. There you go, baby. Let me get some tape. <laughs> they said that's occasion bod. That's it, bro. That's the 40 year old uh, yeah. dad by babe. Yeah, ain't 20 no more. It's all right. I think you uh, look better now. All these crawfish trays, y'all. He rubbed on my Gucci grind. That's it, bro. <laughs> You've inspired Andrew to cook. Look at that, y'all. Nah, bro, you don't do all this, bro. You this. Oh, yeah. Ooh, they said they didn't know they was watching a Cajun model. Y'all ain't know that? Oh, what? I thought they knew the whole time. What? I thought they knew, man. You gotta let them know, baby. They gotta let them know. I'm trying to tell you. All right, we got everything? <laughs> this is a trip, y'all. What else we need? Um, I feel like we needed something else. And I feel like I wrote a list and left the list at home. Anything. Anything. Oh, I know we needed containers. Oh, yeah. Everybody's starting to order that crawfish seasoning. I'm waiting on the container. Heavenly asked what?